Welcome to another cooking video. It has been a minute, but we are back and I'm really excited about this one. I have got a roundup for you of all of my favorite breakfast and brunch dishes to make on a regular basis and we are going to start with this croissant breakfast sandwich. So I like to get my croissants from Tartine in LA. They're really buttery, always really good. If you live in LA and you have a favorite croissant that you like more than this one, please let me know because I'm always on the hunt. But one of my favorite coffee shops in Portland, Upper Left, does a breakfast sandwich with essentially all of these things. And I miss it so much that I started recreating it myself because I couldn't find anything quite like it in LA. So it's just a little aged white cheddar and then grilled ham, some poached eggs, and some chives. You could also do scallions and that would be really good. Um, but it's so simple. It comes together in like five minutes if you've already got the croissants. So would highly recommend for a pretty easy little breakfast sandwich. So for Tuesday, I wanted to do something kind of bright and refreshing centered around preserved lemon and then pickled red onions. And I realized I was out of pickled red onions, so made some really quickly. Obviously, this would come together much quicker if you already have those done, so you know, make your weekly batch a little sooner than the morning of and you'll be fine. But they um, honestly only take like 30 minutes to set. So I just came back once they like had cooled off a little bit, but I'm poaching an egg here. And then I got some mint and started pulling that apart and then chopped up some preserved lemon and then did a quick little marination for the beans. And I'm using my Great Northern or cannellini beans here. Um, and then just did like some lemon vinegar and olive oil for those and plating it all up once the pickled onions got a little cooler with some mint and then the poached eggs and it was so good. It would make honestly a great side dish um, or like a little appetizer. For Wednesday, I was super inspired by this dish I had at this restaurant called Destroyer out in Culver City. If you're ever in the area, please go. It is fantastic. I think it's like Icelandic. Um, it's kind of like a fusion of things, but they had this amazing like microgreen salad with potatoes and poached eggs and it was like all buried underneath the salad. Like it was so good. Um, so I basically did the exact same thing. I think I added cheese and they didn't have that, but that's all that one was. Obviously a quick one. <laughs> For Thursday, we've got one of my all-time favorite dishes, Turkish eggs, which I have genuinely had these maybe once a week since 2017, and I've never gotten sick of them. It is just the best dish. So I just mix some garlic granules with some Greek yogurt um, and let that sit. And then I do some soft boiled eggs and add those, add a cumin paprika butter um, and then fresh dill and it is just wonderful. If you've never tried, please try. So good. For Friday, we have got my most like love-hate relationship dish to make. Uh, I've made this a few times and I honestly don't know how much more I have in me because it is just so involved, so many steps, but it's the kind of thing that once you're done, you're so proud of yourself and it's like, wow, I really did this. I made something taste this good. So I'd say definitely give it a shot once. Um, if you can find sorrel wherever you live, that is kind of tricky to find. Um, but you know, give it a shot if you can because it's so satisfying. So you let that rice sit and fluff up for like 15 minutes. You chop preserved lemon, massage your kale, season it really well. Um, and then now I'm poaching an egg and I've got like some turkey bacon frying up and um, what are we doing now? Oh, we're doing the rice and we're mixing in the kale sorrel pesto and mixing that up really well and then adding in some preserved lemon juice and the preserved lemons and then some dill and then plating all of this up and the salad was dressed with a little bit more lemon juice and then adding some feta and some dill, uh, pickled red onions and I think that's about it. More salt and pepper and it is so good. Seeing this now is making me realize I need to have this again soon, but truly one of the greatest breakfast dishes of all time. And then here is a special look at the aftermath. How fun. 
So for Saturday's dish, I had some leftovers, so I decided to do kind of a Mediterranean-inspired breakfast bowl. And first, I have to fail miserably at pouring my coffee. Um, oh good, we switched up the angle and it didn't work either. Nice. I love being a clean, organized cook. Okay, so here I am making some hummus, and once again, like, if you make this in advance, it'll be a lot easier, but... Sometimes I'll just be craving something and I'm like, you know what? I have the time, it's the weekend, let's make the hummus. So I'm dressing some greens here and um, what are we doing now? Okay, chopped up a bunch of herbs, adding the hummus and some olive oil and then some parsley. Is that a hot take? Do people hate parsley on hummus or is that cilantro? Honestly, unsure. And then some cucumber some dill, some mint, radishes, um, pickled red onions, and feta. And then I think I add a poached egg to this. Uh, oh, yes, I did. Overall, really good, bright, refreshing. Um, would recommend. Well, that is all for today. That was a quick one, but hope you enjoyed. Hope you found a few new breakfast items to add to your weekly lineup.